New tonight, a major development in the disappearance of Danielle Stislicki and the murder charges against Floyd Galloway. We're glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 6. Floyd Galloway is the security guard accused of her murder. We have just learned a judge's decision could have a major impact in his murder trial. Local 4 investigator Karen Drew has been leading our coverage on this case for years and joins us with this major development, Karen. Kim and Devin, this is big. We just found out items of Danielle Sizlicki's that were discovered after an alleged admission by Floyd Galloway to the person who was actually conducting his lie detector test will not be able to be used at trial. Now, this is a big win for Galloway's defense and a heartbreaking decision for Sizlicki's family. A decision has been made. A judge decides evidence discovered in the Floyd Galloway murder trial will now be suppressed. Help us bring Danielle home. Daniel Stislicki went missing back in December of 2016. The 28 year old has never been seen after leaving her Farmington Hills office. As the investigation grew, the former security guard Floyd Galloway, who worked at Danny's building, became a suspect. Galloway's attorney had the guard take a lie detector test. Come to find out, the person who gave that test, James Hoppy, was so disturbed by what Galloway told him, he shared that information with then Troy Police Chief Gary Mayer, who then shared the alleged admissions with Farmington Hills Police Chief Chuck Nebus, who was investigating the case. Nebus then dispatched his detectives to search for clues. And because of what Galloway shared to the lie detector operator, much evidence was found. In a judge's ruling, that evidence seized was a direct result of obtaining privileged information. So Danny Sizlicki's Fitbit, keys that were found in Farmington Hills, and telephone forensic data can no longer be used in trial. Also, the testimony of Galloway being spotted at a nearby Tim Hortons, surveillance video and phone records from the coffee shop, as well as evidence of a cab ride Galloway took that night from where Danny disappeared, can also not be used as evidence. The conclusion, police intentionally intruded on the privileged relationship and used the information to locate and seize evidence. Now, I did reach out to Galloway's attorney. She said Judge McMillan sent a message to law enforcement and to the attorney general that outrageous conduct in violation of defendants' due process rights will not be tolerated. So a, a big win on the Galloway side. But uh, I don't know the whole evidence, obviously, for this, but it feels like you just threw everything out of the truck that they had. So, And you talk to Danny's family all the yeah. time. What do they have to Heart, say? Simply heartbroken. Yeah. I mean, very upset. They're, you know, they have to be careful in what they say because this trial is still going on. I did talk to Ann a little bit this afternoon. That's Danny's mom, and she definitely wants to be careful with her words as there's so much left to deal with in court, but issued this statement saying, our family is disappointed on these results and will continue <laughs> to support the judicial appeal process and the effort for the true story to be told. The public should also be aware that Floyd is currently in prison for sexually attacking a jogger that was fortunate to escape just three months before right. Danielle right. went missing. And we covered that trial. That had occurred in Livonia, September of that year. Um, he's serving a seven-year sentence on that. This is going to really get very, very complicated. It's like a very consequential ruling, no yeah. doubt. Yeah.